a historic day at Orlando International Airport. JetBlue now officially flying from Orlando to Havana, Cuba. New 6 Essential Saunders has more on what this means for travelers. This is a long time in the making. For some, it's a homecoming of sorts, and for others, it's exploration into a world that they didn't have access to until now. Smiles and waves could still be seen despite a scaled back historic first commercial departure from Orlando International Airport to Havana, Cuba. Yes, going home, going home to visit my family. The fully booked send off was meant to be lively with Cuban music, dancing, food and water cannons. JetBlue changed plans to respect those mourning former leader Fidel Castro's death. It was under his regime in 1980 that Boston resident Nesterka Solano was split from her mom and sisters and sent to the States with her father, an ex-political prisoner. However, she says she's not necessarily celebrating Castro's death. I'm not happy and I'm not sad about it. Um, I have nothing against Fidel Castro, never did. I mean, split up a lot of families. With Without him, there would be no Cuba to go visit today. Cuba would not be Cuba, the culture of Cuba. For Amy Hulkwin, it's about connection. This is her second visit this year. Um, I got very sentimental, you know, to see, you know, the house where my dad was born. You know, obviously it's not the same color of the pictures that they have, but it was, it was an emotional thing to see. Less sentimental, more intrigue for others. Travelers, many just wanting adventure to a spot that has been mostly closed off to the U.S. You always see these things, but you can never go. So the fact that we can actually go now, I just really want to get that opportunity. You will now see these flights every day from JetBlue to Havana, Cuba. But you cannot just travel to the country for leisure reasons. You must have an official reason, something like uh, having family over there, religious reasons, or maybe journalistic reasons to visit the country. For now, reporting at OIA, Sashel Saunders, News 6.